neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. They'll bring him down at the 31. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the catch and has a first down. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 45. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's into the open field. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. After a decent run up the gun. That makes it first and ten. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. From the 27 yard line. Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Well, a new quarterback. But we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough. So this isn't a big surprise. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to a wide out. He's tackled at the 15. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check this out the foul. penalty. Clipping. Offense. They'll line up for another third down third play down. because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From the 30-yard line, it's third down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 58-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. him hard at the 21-yard line. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. And down he goes at the 22. The halfback picks up a yard. This one is a beauty. And he's hammered down. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. That makes it first and ten. ten. So it's first and ten after the big run. Hit out of bounds at the 19. That's a deep five. That makes it second and six. Hey, 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 hey. He's taken down at about the 11. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11 yard line. Give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Nice play fake. Fires a laser touchdown. Touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one.
and we've reached the end of one. 14-0, Cavaliers. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Blackburn on the inside handoff, and they get nice yardage on that run. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 36. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He has some room. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He flings it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Zips it to the back. The ball is loose. They fall on it. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow them down. challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage if this offense keeps running at this guy they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling from their own 49 yard line second down They'll go with a run once again. Decent run here, right side. He zips it. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And he scores! Touchdown! the extra point. McLean has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. The 50. He's tackled at the 44. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Yeah. 
He's at the 30. He's finally tackled at the 17 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 17. The 10, and it pays off. Touchdown. He's up to 100 rushing yards now. And the linemen are doing a great job of keeping the initial tacklers away and getting a good downfield push. I know that's helped him a lot today. He makes the PAT. Like they're ready for the kick. Gets to about the 24 yard line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Gets it that quickly. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Tackle made right around the 28 yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Possession there for the defense. The defense calls a timeout. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 45. Dirk, you and I have been around this coach for a long time. I don't care what their lead is going to the locker room. It's not going to be a pretty sight of it. Well, you'd like to think, boy, we've got a lead. Let's pat each other on the back. But you're right. With this type of coach, he's going to almost make you feel worse for having a lead than if you were down by, by a few scores. So he'll get their attention. Let's see if it helps them in the second half. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 50. Tackle at the 43. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it six and six. Touchdown. He gives them another.
another score, his second in the passing game. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Here's the fullback, and he's taken down behind the line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 28-7. Cavalier. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This margin at halftime is not at all what we expected to see between two evenly matched teams. This game's gotten a ton of attention leading up to it. How easy is it, David, for a team to kind of get let down after getting all of that attention after a first half well, like this? I, I kept hearing Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreit and, and Nestler talk all week about how this game was going to be so good. And now, now I'm in this game and I'm getting kicked around and I've got no response for it. So I think once you're told that you, you belong on this stage and you've been told that your team is great, you got to prove it. And if you don't step up and prove it, now you're down three scores at the half. I mean, you won't be favored in many games, and there won't be many guys on TV talking about how good you are and how evenly matched, because right now, you're outclassed. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Is stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome James back, everybody. Second half right. action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They've carried it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game in our hands and still a whole quarter to go. He zips it out to the left. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Makes it, and the quarterback scrambles. So the scramble goes for nine yards. Seven yard line. First down. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 42. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. to the 27. It's 
first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Little handoff, and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. It's a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. McLean has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Makes it to the 34. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. And that looked like the same exact play they just ran. I think it was the exact same play, and that was a great pickup, too. out to about the 32-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance. And he got it. all lined up and ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Inside and he's quickly brought down. So with one quarter remaining, the Cavaliers lead 31-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They'll line it up again on third down. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Defense stacked in tight here. Here's a handoff, left side. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. So the ball spotted right around midfield as they continue to move the ball on this drive. Green pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. That'll make it second and seven. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, first down. And a quick throw. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Fights forward to about the 13. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 13. Gets to about the 11 yard line. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Now he 
tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the seven-yard line. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds to keep that clock moving. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Blackburn on the handoff. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Hand off. Brought down quickly. They line up at the nine. It's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. four-yard line. It's first down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. for the corner. Good outside run there. That'll bring up third and two. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-10, Cavalier. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.